Okay, I arrived at my airport. I had an interesting flight, but quickly, uh, before I talk about the flight a little bit, let me just quickly show you around the hotel room. I'm booked at the Hotel Marina. Uh, hotel Marina, that's a great name, right? Hilton Marina in Fort Lauderdale. It's the pretty much the closest hotel almost to the, ho to the terminal. And so uh, that's why I booked it. It's easy for my friend to reach. It was easy for me to reach. Um, cause I don't know how the shuttle situation is right now in Fort Lauderdale with only a limited number of ships going back and forth, but they do offer the shuttle. So that's a good thing. Let's just show a lot. Let's look quick look around the room. So first off, we'll go in here, widen up the screen and very nice shower. I love the walk-in shower. It's about the same size as the shower I have at home, which is nice. Other than that, it's pretty standard situation in here. Walk out, good size bed, USB port beside the bed. Really good size TV. Looks like a 55 inch TV sitting there, maybe a 50. Then we have a little sitting area and the real reason to book the Hilton Marina is you get a balcony, or at least you can book a balcony. But look at this, huh? This is what I'm going to wake up to tomorrow. And I'm okay with that. And I love looking at the boats. Doesn't have to be big boats. Doesn't have to be cruise ships. Just being around even the large, some of the smaller super yachts as they would be called. Wow. I love this area. So yeah. Now I'm going to get dark. Back to look. Here we go. Okay, so we had a little bit of a... I told you, if I hadn't told you, I'm about to tell you about that couple that did not know what they were doing. They had no idea what they were doing in front of me. They had packed their important papers that they needed in their luggage and their luggage was put through and on its way to the plane and then they went to the check-in for the customs and they didn't have all their paperwork. So that was a big mess. And of course, they were right in front of me. And once you're in this line, you're not allowed to go back and forth from the line the way it was working at the airport. They have you funneled into this area. So there's no switching back and forth. So once I was behind them, I was stuck and I was behind them. But then as I get on the plane and you saw, you saw what great seats I had, right? I didn't splurge on those seats. I got a seat sale because they upgraded the plane because they had so many people looking to fly. And so I was able to grab those, you know, business class seats for like three, four hundred dollars, which is really good price. I uh, got to lie down, got to watch movies, uh, and got served breakfast and drinks at my command. The washroom was right there and I wasn't shoulder to shoulder to shoulder with somebody. So it was really, really good. But as we taxied back and we were getting ready to, you know, we just pulled away from the terminal, got about 60 yards away, and they yelled uh, medical emergency back in around seat 35. And then all the stewardesses ran back. One of them grabbed the defibrillator. Some of them grabbed first aid kits and away they went. I guess somebody was having trouble breathing. And so they wanted to make sure, just in case, you know, that they had everything they needed. Eventually, we ended up pulling back up to the terminal gate. Uh, the uh, paramedics came on board. They took the passenger off, as well as the guest. Then they had to go through the luggage to get the luggage off of that guest and the passenger. And then they locked everything up again, did another cabin check, and we finally backed up. Took about an hour and 15 minutes longer than we thought, but then our flight turned out to be a half hour faster than we thought, so it wasn't too bad. And hey, I was sitting in business class, enjoying the luxury, lying down, getting some 
getting some Z's on my flight. Uh, not really, but at least I could close my eyes and then I could stretch out. My feet were stretched out. It was so, so nice. And then I get here. The sun is shining. It's bright and sunny. I'm not wearing a mask. <sighs> I can feel the stress leaving my body as I speak. And now I'm going to meet my friend, probably meet Tony later. And then tomorrow, it's time for the edge. So we'll, we'll, we'll tune in again tomorrow for that. So far, so good.